Hey guys, somebody had left a comment in my video about adding different languages into Doodly about they had some problems, I guess, trying to get Chinese font into the Doodly program. And I'm going to be honest with you, it does seem to follow a slightly different set of rules. However, I have figured it out. So I am going to walk you through it. Okay. What I did was I went to Google and I simply typed in Chinese font free download. Now, you're going to have all kinds of fonts. I know that there are even some different translations and stuff like that. I don't know the first thing about Asian language, Asian fonts, so just bear with me. I am going to keep things very, very general. I went through a couple of these different little websites. You can see some of them are in purple because I clicked on them. And I am not looking for anything that is going to make you go through several pages to finally get to download something. But what I did find is... Okay, simplified Chinese, Google Fonts. So I went ahead and went to this website. And as you can see here, they all go through like a Noto Sans. Okay, and then I guess all of these other ones here, but you can choose some different styles. Okay, and so what I did is I just went here. And you would choose, I guess, the lettering, the style that you want. You would go ahead and select it. I think I went ahead and chose the medium 500, something to that effect. And I downloaded the family. Okay. And just real quick, before we hop on over to Doodly, I was also able to go to Source Han, Source, <laughs> Source Han Sans. I typed that into Google. And I had also found on GitHub that they also have, you know, several different styles to choose from. You would simply scroll below here. Okay, you can go to latest release. Scroll down here. Okay, and then you can find what it is you're looking for here. I think I had gone to traditional Chinese, something to that effect. Okay, so same thing. I just downloaded it. You can do the same thing there. All right. And as far as extracting the zip files, I would imagine you guys might already know how to do that, but just in case you don't. All right, let's do something real quick. I'm just going to click on that. Let that load. I'm going to hit that extract all button. All right. I am using Windows 10 on a PC. Okay. So, and that is how you would go ahead, extract your folders, go back to your downloads. And you would see there's the zip, okay, the source on, but there is the file that has already been opened. Okay, so you would choose the one you want or all of them and you're good to go. Okay, so you've got a whole family here, bold, extra light, heavy, all of that great stuff, okay. So I've already taken the liberty of opening up Doodly and I did actually bring some of these in, okay? So, and if you don't know how to bring in a font into Doodly, what you would simply do is you would hit that plus button, okay? You would browse through the files, pick the one that you want. I am pretty sure I did not pick an extra light one, so I'll go ahead and bring that one in. It's already going to be titled. You can retitle it if you'd like, just to give you an example. There you go. <laughs> There's your change. Okay, give it a second to upload to the file. Or maybe more than a second. And there we go. Okay. And so what you would want to do here is that, hey, if you already know the language, then you would simply, you know, type it in and you'd be good to go. However, I do not know the language. So what I did was I went to Google and I just simply translate to traditional Chinese. So I typed in, this is traditional Chinese font. And I went ahead and I copied that. I went back to Doodly. And I pasted it there and voila. All right, however, real quick, there we go. And there you have it, okay? 
So, and you can see this was another one that I had found. I might have, that might have been off of GitHub. I'm not entirely sure at this point. They're all starting to <laughs> blend in. But as you can see here, let me just make sure that that is at the top. All right. Okay, and it would be the same thing here. All right, so there you have it, folks. That is how you do it, okay? As you can see, obviously it looks a little bit different, but that I guess is just going to depend on the font that you're using. But in a nutshell, this is how you go and get Chinese font and download it, extract it from the zip file, bring it into Doodly, and that was all for free. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. And as you can see, when you guys leave questions and like the video and support the channel and stuff, if you ask me something that I do have the answer to, I am likely to go ahead and make a video giving you what you want. So I would appreciate the like and I would appreciate the subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you, I hope it helped you out. And until next time, take care.